During my early training as a naval officer, I spent a few months with a Navy SEAL who was my roommate. And during that time, he would detail to me what he was going through in his training. And at one point, he taught me the basics of what the SEALs called drown-proofing. Well, the method was initially taught by a SEAL uh, who had been captured and his hands and feet bound and blindfolded, and then they tossed him in the water to drown. Well, he kept his head and he uh, survived by breathing in a, in, a, in a paced fashion, by precise body movements, and he was actually able to swim to shore, even though he was bound hand and foot and blindfolded. Well, it's now taught as a standard uh, tactical survival technique to every SEAL member. Well, as I considered Atlantica and the single most important design element, I realized that what we were designing for in a permitted undersea colony is the same thing. Literally, designing for drown-proofing Atlantica, drown-proofing an entire community. Well, just as the SEAL teams now teach this technique, the undersea colony is also purposefully designed to work around the chief risks of catastrophic flooding and to train all the residents what their part is in the prevention and, and then what, what they would do as individuals in response to an incident. Well, as I stated in the first uh, of the series of books called Undersea Colonies, one of the most feared elements by the land dwellers when they think about living permanently undersea is kind of like the equivalent of a passenger's fear of crashing in an aircraft. And in the undersea colony case, it's catastrophic flooding. But unlike the aircraft, which can only design for the best case, most luck-based survival in a crash, the situation in an undersea colony is far different, and the design possibilities are much more forgiving. But in order to drown-proof an entire colony, it must first be designed that way from to the top down. Drown-proofing an entire undersea colony actually considers of several joined ideas. The theme of this fundamental design characteristic is, is, of course, the protection of life and property in the event of an anomaly, an emergency, or just outright catastrophe. In this video series, we will review several of the ideas necessary to drown-proof an undersea colony, including the design of the individual structures, which is what we're going to discuss today, and then the passageway designs that connects those structures, and then the joined public structures, and then equipment protection, and finally the training of the residents to live in a drowned-proof colony. So let's begin with the design of the individual col colony structures. Remember that an undersea colony is made up of many individual structures that are all linked together by passageways or tunnels. And these serve exactly the same function in a home where they are called hallways. Well, they allow free passage between one part of the home or building to another. And in a community, the same function is served by sidewalks that allow access between houses and streets that allow access to more distant parts of the community. Well, obviously, in an undersea community, these access ways will all have to be protected from the harsh environment outside. And unlike homes and communities that welcome the outside in through windows and doors, of course the undersea colony will not survive if the outside environment makes its way in uninvited. Well, well, while all of this is quite obvious, it's also a fundamental design characteristic that causes the design process to be different in the design of an undersea colony than the design of uh, structures that are built ashore. Before the first structures are built, this drown-proofing concept requires that the entire community and every structure in it uh, take these concepts into account. Only then can each mod module be linked because not only do the structures need to be accounted for in a drown-proofing drown design, but as they're linked, the drown-proofing plan must include everything that it, it pulled together as a linked drown proof system overall because every system is linked to another system they all have to work together in the same system of logic well as we stated previously the design of drown proofing targets the protection of life and property in the event of a flooding anomaly so let's begin with the most basic structure in an undersea colony that is the individual living module in a drown proof colony there is a central design philosophy for the living modules they're also sometimes called family modules and each of these are designed for maximum hardened protection on the walls and uplooking surfaces and zero penetrations above the deck level. If they're designed in this way, there is uh, no route of air to escape or water to ingress. 
If they are designed in this way, there is no route of air to escape if the structure or unit integrity is breached for any reason. So no matter what, the living module will keep its protective air bubble until help can arrive. Frequently I hear that this design must mean, therefore, that there can be no windows in any part of the living module, particularly the up-facing uh, structure. But you know that's really nonsense. New materials and new construction techniques make the transparent parts of the structure just as hardened and protected as any other part of the structure, and in, any, in, in many ways even more so. The fear in the 21st century uh, is totally without merit. However, every other hole penetration is kept lower than the deck, because even small penetrations can be risky if they're not adequately protected. The entranceways of each living module is, uh, is accessed from below, so that each of the living modules is a specially protected cocoon of air. And finally, each living module features a very specially designed hatchway that closes and seals itself automatically upon each entrance and exit, so that a problem anywhere else in the colony is mechanically locked out from all other parts. Well, next time we're going to discuss the passageway designs of a drown-proof undersea colony.